I just go, wow, like people <laughs> are getting high yeah. and using our weed. Like this is all <laughs> we really wanted. I mean, like really. Keep it simple, right? Like keep it simple. <laughs> Well, I think the biggest thing I see is I, I just can't believe how polarizing this industry is. Oh, Even gosh. though, yeah. you know, you've had a, a huge pullback. It's almost like people are jonesing even for more information now as we start to develop this right, industry. Right. Obviously, the big reasons is because, look, Canada Canada started the conversation yes. globally, which is great. Yes. There's tremendous opportunities in the U.S. There's yeah. tremendous opportunities yeah. in South Africa. And there's obviously yeah. tremendous opportunities with Cannabis yeah. 2.0. So when we launched that last fall, if you could rewind the clock, yeah. look back at the yeah. fall of 2018. Yeah. What would you tell yourself, meaning you, good or bad about this industry and what you've learned from then? Oh my God. I, I mean, if, you, if you're if you asking me from the perspective of what would I tell myself back then? Well, what I said to you earlier, like learning how to scale and operationalize, I wish I could go back in time and know what I know now. Um, so that's, you know, a different story. But in terms of what you're speaking of, I mean, the funny thing is, I would tell myself the same thing I was saying, which was, hold on to your cash. This can't <laughs> last forever because I don't come from you this world so much that I'm like, it doesn't make sense to me that cash is just unlimited. You must build a real business. But here's the challenge. Even in this conversation that you and I are having, we're talking about the cannabis industry. Like it's, it's like saying we're talking about the CPG industry. Right. I mean, beyond the categories yeah. of beauty, skin, beverage, like then you have size of companies. So the fact is like a company like Canopy or Aurora, the issues that they're dealing with, whether it's debt or being owned by a global conglomerate or um, just having to find your way back to a multi-billion dollar market cap is obviously significantly different than a company like 48 North. One of the things that we're hearing more and more, and a lot of companies were doing this, is just continue to buy more and more assets where they spread themselves right. out too thin. Right. To your point earlier about Kim Rivers talking about focus on one thing and do it really, really exactly. well. Obviously, you believe in that strategy, and yeah. how are you doing that strategy right now? Well, we're doing that strategy by, as you said, we don't run 12 facilities. Like, look, we run, you know, one indoor grow facility, an outdoor grow facility, and now our other indoor facility is fully for post-harvest. So, you know, storage and extraction and manufacturing. So I can tell you, it's hard running a facility. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of work, especially in a new industry, especially as a new company. So when I think about what other people are doing, I know that can't, isn't, sustainable from a startup position if you're 50 years in business and you've learned all those challenges like uh you know well, that's just really, it, right? right so so my point is like that's what we're doing differently is focusing on our fundamentals that we've always been focused on what i would say is slightly different for us now is yeah you there were certain things you felt you needed to do that were both good for the business and good for what looked like a larger play um now you know of course you're looking at every dollar and saying i have to stand up my core business and i have to make sure that i'm in position for growth and so that line is obviously more difficult <laughs>